Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How the heck are ya? I hope this this video finds you well. I'm doing good. I can't talk, but I'm doing good. Hey, um, I got a little story to tell you. Um, my family knows that I'm a I'm a uh, retired person, and because I'm retired, I have time on my hands, and I feel a lot of that time. Um, uh, doing my little hobbies and part of my hobbies involves being a hunter and that basically means toy hunting especially Star Trek so in the mornings my routine is I get up and I go I hit the Walmarts and the Walgreens and those kinds of places looking for anything new every day I hit Wal Walmarts and Walgreens so because I started doing these unboxings um, and getting into movies, I've never been a movie person per se. Um, I went to the movies, but not really uh, to the extent of collecting them or you know finding them uh, interesting for what they are. Okay, for so anyway, long story short, um, recently in my hunting, I have. Uh, lead me to thrift stores, i.e. Goodwill, Desiree, um, and did you know Goodwill has a clearance center? I didn't. Anyway, the clearance center, the retail Goodwill, Epic Thrift, Desiree, and all of these places are all within five minutes of my house. This is not good for my pocketbook but it's good for my hunting um, for example uh, also here in North Las Vegas we have access to auctions many auctions man you wouldn't believe the number of auctions anyway long story short um, I've uh, scored a couple really big movie scores uh, and auctions that I'm going to hopefully make a video that's going to be huge. I'll probably have to break it into four or five parts. But I want to show you what came and I got for basically 50 bucks. It entails probably uh, 150 VHS and at least 200 DVDs and games basically 50 bucks in an auction. It's just amazing. You know, a lot of junk, but, you know, I'll let you people take a look and, and see what you think. So anyway, on this daily thing, at uh, 7 o'clock every morning, we uh, found out that the Goodwill Clearance Center opens up 7 o'clock every morning. Well, the Clearance Center, as you may or may not know, is the last stop for everything. Clothes, shoes, name it they've got it in there and they're in these big long bins they just dump the stuff in there you pay for your clothes by the pound you pay for your shoes by the pound and books and cds and other media are there basically they they go for 50 cents a piece okay so i've started collecting movies basically horror movies and because I started going to this clearance center, I found that they have, you know, 50 cents. Some amazing, what I feel, uh, these are things that I may be interested in, or that I think I might be able to sell to somebody that, that may be interested in it, you know. Uh, so that's my purpose, you know. I go looking for, uh, looking for that find, you know. And I'm not sure I'm going to find it, you know, but... I still love looking. It's the it's the thrill of the hunt, you know. But anyway, um, I'm, I don't want to dribble on too far. Let me get a sip here, and I want to show you what I what I caught today in the clearance and at Desiree. So, like I said, at seven o'clock you go in and you fight elbow to elbow with all these other people that are going through books. I mean, just piles and piles of books and media. Uh, some of it brand stinking new. 
Amazing. I don't know how it gets there, you know. And most of it's coming from, you know, Goodwill retail or whatever. But, uh, for example, here we go. The first thing up. Project Human Weapon. I'd never heard of this. And it sounded interesting to me. So, picked it up. DVD. In basically perfect condition. Fantastic Four. I don't have it, and I like these kind of movies. I'm a, I'm a Fantastic Four for a person. And in the, uh, I thought this might be interesting. From Hell. Johnny Depp. I started watching it today. It was it's. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you know Johnny Depp's come a long way, right? All right, and the VC V. H.S. of Shirley Temple. Why I got this, I don't know. But uh, maybe someone will want it. Who knows? And uh, I just remember really enjoying watching when I was young, watching her come up, when I was coming up. Uh, Harry Potter. I got this just because I like Harry Potter. I thought I'd check it out. Maybe someone would be interested in it somewhere down the line. And in the horror theme, something I wanted to collect and keep in a black clamshell. Pretty neat. The Exorcist. And if you guys have any comments about this, please feel free to comment. Tell me if there's anything that's worth anything or, you know, if you're interested in anything. Tell me. And we may be able to work out something. X-Files, one of my favorite shows. I just uh, thought the packaging was interesting. I'll give this a watch. And I've watched this movie before. I thought it was interesting. I thought I would watch the boat, the, uh, the, uh, the VHS of it. And at, over at uh, Desiree, for $2, I picked up the Rolling Stones. Just for the record. What a neat set. It's a total of five discs, all really in brand new condition. Well, I thought that was a pretty good pickup for two bucks, right? Okay, back to the clearance center. I don't know why I got this, but I've never heard of this 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 show. It's on the Cartoon Network called Aqua Teen Teen Hunger Force. So I started watching this crazy show just today, just for kicks. What a what a crazy! Sh they'll say anything on TV. I, it says Cartoon Network. I, I don't know if it's been on the Cartoon Network or not, but if it has, I didn't see it. And man, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I mean, it's very irreverent. You, know? you like that kind of thing, but I can't believe it's on TV. Um, I live in Vegas, so Elvis. Viva Las Vegas. Unopened. <laughs> I don't know why I got this, but let me cover her name up. But short tail, just in case the grandkids have any have an urge. I thought this was interesting. I'm interested. I'm always interested in these kind of things. Dinosaur Discoveries. Four DVDs. Four DVDs. Futurama. Into the Wild Green Yonder. I don't know anything about that. I just thought it was interesting. It's kind of got an interesting little pack. Let's see how it comes packaged. A PBS title, Downton Abbey. The original UK edition, whatever that means. And the season one, volume one, Road to Sectionals, Glee. Entire first, I guess, for this set. I mean, this thing is still. Brand, brand new. It's got the books and everything in it. 
Interesting. I mean, I'm, I bought that so that, you know, I may see if someone wants it in my family. If not, I'll turn it over and give it to somebody else. Along came the spider. Thought this looked terror-ish, terror horror-ish. So that's why I picked it up. I like this movie. I, and it's still unopened. The river runs through it. Robert Redford. And another one of my favorite movies. Coming to America. Then I'm trying to put together a, whiz, a Disney uh, VHS collection. So this is goes right in there. Really in good shape. Okay. More horror. Prom Night. Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't know anything about these, so if you have a comment about it, Anne, please leave it down below. Of course, I've seen this. I just like it so much, I thought I would get it. The DVD's in really great shape. Crouching Tiger. And uh, this snuck into my basket somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a real fan of this movie, but Got the slip cover. Look at that. Uh, I don't have anything to say about this movie other than uh, I deplore racism. <laughs> and uh, this is one of the early examples of our of our nation in its in its worst time. But, hey, I've, I've never watched a movie, and I'm going to watch it and edumacate myself. I know what it's about, though, obviously. I don't know why I got this one, other than it was still... Uh, still in its packaging, brand new. Maybe someone will be interested in that. And this, is, this whole series is really one of my favorites. I got that just to put in my collection. Then uh, again, for the Disney collection, this is the fun and fun and fancy free. There you go. I'm having fun, man, at these clearance things. I really enjoy them. My wife thinks I'm crazy, you know, but for five bucks, you come home with all kinds of neat stuff. Walt Disney's classic Bambi. Walt Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And for my horror collection, not really horror, I guess, Gremlins. Love some Gremlins. Okay. And what collection is not complete without Casper, the friendly ghost? I don't know why I got this, but I thought I'd give it a look, look just for kicks. And then in the Disney, the uh, D3, the Mighty Ducks. But yeah, I'm having fun. I'm going to try and do this every day and show you what I get. And uh, this is still in plastic, still rough, all just the way it came, I guess. E.T. Really neat, huh? And What Lies Beneath. First class thriller with Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. Kind of a neat cover, huh? I'll give that a watch. And one of my favorites, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I did not have this in VHS. Don't know why I want it, but what the heck? It's in perfect shape. Okay. A 
know what you did last summer. Looks scary to me. Something about someone not staying dead. <laughs> and just because I'm a Star Trek person, search for Spock, the original one. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe grandkids. Maybe I'll sell it on eBay. I don't know. I guess that if you're interested in any of these uh, and you think you're, you're more, worth more to you than me, hit me up. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. I, I just buy these things that just really interest, especially the, this cover really intrigued me. Dick Tracy, Dick Tracy versus Cue Ball. Very neat. Nineteen ninety. Mighty Mouse. And well, this is the original one, so I thought I'd get it. Ghostbusters. Really neat stuff. So let's see, I think I have one more. <laughs> I don't know why I got this, only because it looks old and really neat to me. I don't know. It's in one of those squeeze and shake, squeeze and shake deals. Samson and Delilah. Pretty cool. I don't remember watching this movie, so I'm going to give it a shot. So that's it for today. That's one day pickup over at the um, um, clearance center and one or two. Let's see, I did one thing at the Desiree. And uh, so, like I said, every day I go there at 7 o'clock. Some days are a wash. Some days I get absolutely nothing. And that's okay, you know. That's what hunters do. That's what we, you know, we're used to that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to try to do this every day. And if you like it, great. Give me a thumbs up, would you? And, uh. I appreciate it. I, I, you know, please subscribe to my channel and watch. Uh, most every day I'm going to try and come on and show you what I pick up. And hey, if you're interested in any uh, thing I pick up, uh, hit me up if you're interested. Maybe we'll, uh, uh, I'll be able to uh, hook you up. So like I say, I'm hunting every day. I'm looking every day. If you want me to look for something for you, let me know. You know, and something in particular. I'll be glad to do it, you know. Um, I'm out there anyway. Why not? And this is, you know, I want to share. I like to share what I, uh, you know, my little, <coughs> my little gold nuggets. You know? uh, so anyway, um, that's it for today from North Las Vegas. Thanks for watching. Please, please, please subscribe and keep smiling. <laughs>